So this is Living Next Door to Alice by Smokey and we're gonna start off by picking some chords. So the main chords in this track is an A major chord. So you're gonna place your fingers on the second fret of the D, second fret of the G and second fret of the B. It's also got a D major chord in it. And it's also got an E major chord in it. So those are your three main chords. So let's take a look at the picking pattern that we do at the beginning. So at the beginning, we play an A major picking pattern six times. So the strings that we want to pick are the A, the D, the G, and the high E. You have a little gap, and then you play the B, G, B. Okay, so A, D, G, E, B, G, B. And it should sound like this. Really important we get that gap between the high E and the B, G and B notes. So you essentially play this six times. After four times he'll start singing and when he starts singing we play it two more times essentially and then that's when we're going to change chord. So we move from that A major to the D major. So for this we're going to pick the D, the G, the B, the high E. Again have that gap and then we're going to pick the B, G and B again. So all together we've got D, G, B, E, D, G, B, and again, D, G, B, E, D, G, B. Then we're going to move to our E major chord and we're going to be picking the strings of E, D, G, high E, gap again, B, G, B. Okay, so it's going to sound like this. Once more. Just be a little bit careful of the jump from our E to our D, just make sure you don't catch that A. But again, we're going to play that pick and pattern twice on this E major chord. So, so far we played a pick and pattern for A, D, E. Then we're going to go back to A but we're only going to play our picking pattern once, but it's exactly the same as what we played at the beginning. So we play it once and then we revert back to our E major chord and play our picking pattern once there. So rather than play it twice on each chord, we're just playing it once on the A and then once on the E just to finish it off. So it's going to sound like this. If I do it once more. So you essentially play that picking pattern of the A twice, the D twice, the E twice, the A once and the E once. You play that and repeat it all the way up to when he starts to sing, oh, I don't know why she's leaving. When you get to, oh, I don't know why she's leaving, then it changes into some strumming. So the chords and the lengths that we stay on these chords stay exactly the same, but we're just gonna add a strumming pattern in. So for our A, it's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that's gonna be the same for every chord. So we're gonna go to our D. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. To our E. And then we've got our quick A to E change. Obviously where the change is quicker than the other chords, our strumming pattern is gonna be halved, okay? So when we get back to our A, it's gonna be down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Switch to our E, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And that is essentially the whole chord progression with the strumming pattern, and you just loop that round for pretty much the whole of the song. So let's do it together just once at a slow tempo, okay? So start on our A, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But essentially, once you have got that down, then you can play the whole of the song. So that has been Living Next Door to Alice by Smokey. Essentially, you've got two different parts. You've got that intro where we're picking through the chords 
and then when it starts to really kick in it turns into strumming those chords. I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. You can have a 30 minute monthly guitar lesson with me through my Patreon. Check out the link in the description box below. 